Hey guys, I'm Synthetic Nonsense. It's time to save Maggie from the bagpipes. So we're gonna go. We need Brink's help. Brink, I haven't showed you, but he's down here. And normally I would have talked to him by now. He basically just says, hey, GTFO, I'm doing things here. He has some weird machine going on and refuses to help us. So right now, we are gonna use this flashlight. Oh, or if we stop being frozen. Okay. We're gonna use this flashlight on these Come on, guys. Bats. Let's get a look at you. We're gonna scare him out of there so we can do things to his stuff. No. Not the bees! I'm just gonna assume he has a lifetime fear of bats. Even though they look more like flying leeches, which is even more frightening to me because I'm scared of leeches. Right, see this crystal stash? We need to take it, basically. Use it as collateral. Hi! We didn't you do anything. Thief. Give those back! We didn't take anything. I will, Brink. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Oh, shush. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. No, Typical you. Military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is we that rational it. enough for you? Alright, let's go. He's gonna save Maggie. So we go out. Bright light. It's in the. in the. map spire. So we go through here. Go through here. Go through here. And through here. To this area. Which the map would show you if you weren't sure where to go. Nest. It's the bagpipes. Maggie! Is that you? Are you alright? Oh. How can she be alright? She's bound up in that web. With bagpipes sitting there. Uh, it's still freaking out. It's Scat pretty scary looking. Nasty. Smells pretty bad too. Right, so we need to talk to Brink. Distract the damn creature. Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better, Brink. You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. He is a great diversion, just wait. Flashlight. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime-faced, mucus-brained, furry-legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. That was such a great insult, don't you think? Ah, it's even scarier from the side and the back. No, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! I need to use that phrase every day from now on. Move your silly buttocks, you fool. I'll use it on Chauncey. Where are you going? I'm over here. So basically, watch out. Don't leave me. In our first Fear 3 Let's Play video, watch out for me saying that, because I'll probably will. Okay, then we push it. We push it. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. It's basically where the water comes from, and we push it and go down there. I just realized. I thought that the water graphics looked good. I mean, they still do, but I'm seeing the little parts of them is weird. And for some reason, this part is like a cutscene, even though there's nothing important about it. Okay, now we come back. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Yeah, shush. Boston, where have you been? Narnia. I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. Okay, so we have to go along and talk to the monster. That hideous monster has Brink tree. I never heard that phrase before. Tree makes sense. Brink. And we say the great. There's a grate down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? Yes. Do you have a better one? 
Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does stop water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging the grate? That's why you get the big bucks. Do it then. Just do it. It's only my life Just anyway. Just beat it. Just beat it. I feel like I should have subtitles. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. Like for myself. Cocoon eating lobster face, cave dwelling arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. He's called a butthole. Yeah, I feel like I should have subtitles. Because sometimes I speak really fast like this. Or otherwise my words get all jumbled up and the subtitles make that more hilarious. Maybe when I do amnesia, because I'll probably be muttering and having many things that aren't clearly said because I'm just making sound out of fear. <laughs> so for now, none, because that's like work. Ah, there's like lava down there and the dead bullet. Goodbye, monster. Out you go, out the airlock. I don't like you. Maggie, you made it. How's my hair? You're worried about your... I was joking, Boston. Gosh, Boston. You know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Yeah. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Nah. Bring it. It's time for us to work together on... I said give them to me! Gah! Get down! Don't even... Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. Ow. That hurt. Buff. He sure is weird. Oh, yeah. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. Chauncey wants us to help them. they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library console seemed to indicate that they may have left this world for another. Really? What if they want to come back, but can't? That's a lot of assumptions. I don't know. How will we go about helping? Assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back. Beats me. I'm just interpreting. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Please. Okay, um... We have to go talk to the alien now. Which leads up to my favorite part in the game, where... No, wait, no. Not now. Soon. Very, very soon. Hopefully I can just do what I need to do real quick and then get to the alien so that next video I just let you guys listen to him talk the entire time as he gives all of the revelations because I'll be asking him every question possible basically base <laughs> I disconnected it I don't know why I did that that was pointless okay let's go um it's where is it it's in one of these not the planetarium one it's not the museum one is it the tomb? Maybe. Maybe. Further back or something. Maybe. No. No, it was where we just were, probably. The map spire. Okay. Map, 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 map. Find the map, 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 find the map. I just- No, don't freeze on me, game. Don't you dare. This is not acceptable. We got this- this stop lagging. Gah! Okay, we got in here. And show this to Maggie. Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? Hmm. Take no while. Boston. It exactly describes that strange field of almost light. Of almost what does light. it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. Huzzah! I just twist this. Don't, don't do that. Holy my! It was invisible this entire Everything's time. It's so simple when you read the directions. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. Yeah. 
All right, let's go in it. This island was brought back from another dimension. That's what I think. That's a lot of assumptions too. I would have just what thought was it was so invisible. important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here. Maybe that metal plate over there. All right, so we take this plate. Yay. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We'd better go find Brink again, in case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. Yes, we can. He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter. More dangerous. We're smart, too. Let's go. Alright, actually, the alien won't be the next video, but I've kind of gone over. Um, I've been Synthetic Nonce. This has been my Let's Play. Thank you for watching. Bye.